Uh, a lot of things going on out there in the world. Oh, Ohio is going to vote on Tuesday to see if they can uh, perform abortions up to the moment of birth. Full-term babies, uh, that's out there. You've got human trafficking at levels that we've not seen before. Slavery globally is at a higher level than it's ever been. People don't realize that. Human slavery at a higher level globally today than it's ever been, at least in hundreds of years. And now there's proposed surrogacy laws that you say will change human beings into simply a suitcase, property that can be carried around. Uh, these surrogacy laws are being pushed in places like Michigan, where I live. Tell me what, uh, what this is all about. Well, depending on where you are in the country, many states, they out, outlaw, make it against the law. You can't take a human being and by law turn the human being into property that you can uh, buy and sell by contract. But uh, in, in the states that are more woke and heading you know, toward a far leftist type of government, uh, what's happening is they're taking these um, surrogacy laws and they are transforming them into something way beyond you know, a loving couple helping another loving couple out or something. And they're turning, literally turning human beings uh, under the law into property that you can buy and sell uh, for contract. And, and, and so, what do you mean by that? How, how, how are they turning them into property? I mean, they're, they're children. Uh, um, they literally, and so... in the law, make the baby property. And they make it subject to a contract. And so what you can do is you mentioned uh, Michigan. Michigan's a border state. But any of these border states, what happens is, you know, they're making it a law. Somebody then traffics a person into the state, you know, on the border uh, and, you know, engages in this, you know, subterfuge. And you've got now... <laughs> Uh, a, a baby growing inside um yeah, you, you've lost me why, why hold on you've lost me uh somebody wants to have a child they need a surrogate mother to do it i don't know what that has to do with the border you lost me william well I mean, you, because you, here you're, here you're in, in michigan or anywhere else if you want to have a child and then my question would be if a woman has to take time out of the workforce or to pay her way and so forth why shouldn't she be compensated to carry the child for a couple that wants that child Steve, you're you're assuming the best in all human beings, and I'm I'm talking about you know the people that will take a person you know from Mexico or someplace or South America and and have them trafficked in here for the purposes of you know you know and again using the subterfuge uh, and and now we're going to uh, have uh, a, a baby made for somebody in France or uh, Yemen or someplace like that. And literally, you know, that can be done. And there's stories of how that is happening where they bring people up. You've got a legal mechanism up here, you know, where we're no longer going to treat the human being uh, as, as, as a human being where in the situation you were talking to, that's a natural situation where somebody, you know, can work that out and, and can be done within the family. But this is something completely different. Well, no, 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 